Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories that we're following today. Last night, the Tampa Bay Bucks beat the defending champs, the Chiefs, in a historic Super Bowl 55. Tom Brady, the oldest player to ever win the game, is now 7-3 and three in Super Bowls. Healthcare workers cheered in the stands. The entertainment for the night included Eric Church and Jasmine Sullivan. They sang the national anthem, and The weekend performed the halftime show. While an explosion Saturday night at a baby shower on Cook near Seymour in Gaines Township, state police say that around 7.30 a cannon was fired to celebrate the baby's pending arrival, but fractured sitting shrapnel that struck Evan Silva of Heartland. Now the 26-year-old was taken to Hurley and Flint, where he later died. Investigators say it was designed to create a large flash, smoke, and noise. They add the homeowner had purchased that cannon at an auction and had fired it several times prior to that explosion. The cannon did not contain any projectiles. Police say Silva was 10 to 15 feet away when he was struck. Police have yet to release Silva's relationship to the homeowner. Well, Jersey County Education and Public Health leaders kick off a new campaign today to help Flint's children. There's a virtual conference that starts at 11 a.m. Now the program encourages Flint caregivers to schedule early on evaluations for children ages 0 to 5 who have not been checked out since the Flint water crisis began. The early on program provides services like free speech or physical therapy. To join the conference, just head on over to the hot link section of WNEM. Dot com. Now here's Chris with a look at your forecast. Chris. Hi there, Colette. It does look like our morning commute should be fairly smooth today. A little bit of light snow passing through here and there. It doesn't look like that's going to be an issue for everybody. And you just need to watch out on the roads where it has fallen. It doesn't look like it'll add up to all that much, but the possibility is there. Your first one, five hour by hour forecast shows the rest of today should be largely mostly cloudy. If you see the sun here and there, don't be completely shocked, but also don't expect it to last all day. We do expect another round of snow to move in in some parts of the area later this evening. I think the best chances will be from Mount Pleasant to the Tri-Cities and Thumb off to the south. Areas north of there, you might see a little bit of snow, but your chances will be a little bit less. And then we dry out into the day tomorrow with a chance for some sunshine between the clouds. Snow predictor shows that snowfall amounts with this system tonight should be fairly minor. Not expecting much, um, mostly totals around an inch or less. I think if anyone's close to an inch, it's those along I-69. Areas north of there, not really expected to see a whole lot. High temperatures today will be in the teens. I think wind Chills will be even colder than that as we go through today, Tuesday and Wednesday, largely dry. Our next chance of snow doesn't come till late Thursday night and also into Friday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.